Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look at Watch Dogs 2. Now this game has been on our channel with a 980 in Full HD and Ultra settings and we were getting about 45 frames. Which is surprising because the recommended GPU for this game, based on Ubisoft themselves, is, well, a GeForce 780. Okay, 780 is a 3GB card, the 980 outperforms 780, uh, so it's a 4GB card. But uh, 42 frames in uh, Full HD is a pretty poor performance, if I may say so myself. So we're going to be throwing this on 4070 Ti in 4K Ultra and see what happens. So, I'll just double check, we still have those settings up. So, at least the game recognizes the GPU, which is good. We're going with a 4K, no vertical sync, no frame rate limit. Field of view slightly cranked up, I wouldn't say it actually matters too much. And for the quality, we're going with the Ultra Graphics preset. Now, granted, there are some things you can still tweak, like the extra details, which I honestly cannot see anywhere in the game being changed. Apparently, it's demanding on performance, but there's no additional eye candy either way. Uh, also, you can uh, kind of increase the headlight shadows for the cars. The, I think the maximum is eight cars and stuff like this. And the one thing we are keeping off is the temporal filtering and mode sampling and the aliasing because in 4K, none of this actually matters. And that's about it. So, what we're gonna be doing is just, uh, I would say, starting a new game and see how this all goes with us. And we're going with easy, obviously. What did you expect? Yeah. To be fair, I did not expect this game to actually require something like a 4070 to be played on 4K, but then again, it is a Ubisoft title, so all holds are down. But anyway, let's have a quick look-see, shall we? Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit, and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. Okay, so what do we have? Very simplified reflections, 80-ish frames. GPU usage jumping from 85% to 99 <laughs> Pulling, um, no idea, I would say 7 gigs of video memory so far and 9.5 on actual RAM or 9.2. So, yeah. Let's, let's go and get this done, shall we? Now, when Watch Dogs actually came out, it was a pretty glorified title for the hacking, but honestly, the first Watch Dogs is kind of still in my opinion, a little bit better. Now, granted, there's three installments of this uh, overall game. Watch the 1, 2 and the Legion. But, uh, hey. Oh yeah, right. And these guys over there. Where's the second guy at? Oh, 
a little bit of Ubisoft's self-made depth of field. And we have a monkey fist as a weapon. That is, um, that is interesting. But hey, you know, why not? If memory serves me right, those guys will actually wake up rather soon. So we need to get in as quickly as we can. Wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens and video games. It's not just any alien. It's. Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their fucking. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Access key. I think access key was by one of the guards, actually. And hmm. Okay, you know what? I think it's probably a bit more simple than that. Hundred eighteen K, hundred fourteen. Wow. Yeah, it was this dude was red. Look at an acquired access key. What's his deal? He 
was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> His deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. I kinda remember this a little bit. But oh well. I think this is the last guy anyway. tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it! He won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. He's going the mile. gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level.
There we go. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Bullshit. Fuck. Or I could just Okay, what do we have? Perfect. Look at me. Just creating a fake identities. Like nothing. Just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. Bag him. Yeah. Okay, time to get out. Fuck, I'm gonna go. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. 
Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating. Search results and news feeds are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. Am I in? Welcome to Dead Sec. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother, all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No, sledgehammers on fire. <laughs> all of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government, they'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. Now I fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what... What Bloom's up to, man? Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck! I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Uh, hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what, are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. Have a good party. Fucking ping this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Phone is this? It's your new phone. 
Where is my phone? In the ocean, where you threw it, I think. I don't remember. I was pretty smashed. Look, meet us at the hacker space. Where? Check your pics and figure it out. place am I in? Right, oh, here we are out yeah. in the actual real world, I guess which I was. was. Late, huh? <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Go get yourself something to wear, and I'll tell you where to go next. Oh, and you'll need your phone ready for operations, so hit the store and download your apps before you get here. Damn, walk a shame on my first day. Well, now this is uh, a little bit weird, but hey ho. I have 38k. What am I? What am I complaining about? Huh, look at that. So anyway, this is the real world performance, and what we have is GPU usage 99%, pulling 8 point something gigs of video memory. Looks like we actually need to get some apps, which is uh, unfortunate, but hey ho. Let's get noodle maps. And I think that there's majority of the things, new content available. Of course all of them are locked, what a surprise. Yeah, we could actually steal a car. So, yeah, we're pulling 9 gigs of... Well, 10 gigs of RAM, actually. And... 8.2 gigs of video memory. Which is good. Let's steal a car. Go for a little drive. We still have a couple minutes before we wrap this up. We're just gonna go from there. Stress the GPU out a little bit. I think that was pretty decent. And the frames are roughly 80-ish until something will break our stride. But so far, to be fair, this is very playable. To be fair, obviously more playable than on 980 for Ultra. And I wouldn't actually say that Ultra settings are required for this game. Because, surprisingly enough, the graphical fidelity is not exactly somewhere where I want it to be. But at the same time, hey... At least we're not stuttering at 42 frames at best. So, you know, the GPU is pulling its weight, and it is a Ubisoft title, so hey-ho. Why not? Also, this is a semi-open world, so you can always do whatever you want. And, yeah, to be fair, this is all I have for you guys today. Watch Dogs 2 running perfectly. With no big surprise here, because, well, the GPU is doing all the crunching here. 
Oh yeah, I don't know. Can't really say it's bad. It's quite enjoyable at the moment. Obviously, everything else is as regular as watchdogs, requirements, go hack, do missions, progress, and anything else in between. But at least you can see what you're doing. So, as always, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Over and out.